Hello, all. This is Carl Pennypacker. Glad to see you again. Well, gee, and actually, I have a little, I had a little nasty thing here. Excuse my little white mark here. Uh, I want to show you a few things about Salsa J. You know a lot of these already, but let's, let's go through it. Okay, just a second. Okay, so here, here's the outline of what we want to do. First, we, I wanted to do a little Salsa J tutorial. You've seen this before last time. One, open an image. And remember, these images are .fts or .fit or .fits. Fits image, that's what the pros you, you use. You guys are becoming pros. Second is, uh, when we open an image, I want to zoom in on it and try to see what an image really is. It's really just a collection of numbers, okay? Third, uh, I want to change contrast. That's very important. Fourth, plot profile. Uh, and fifth, we want to do a little photometry. So that, that'll take us through, uh, I think we'll take about half an hour for all that. So let's just go ahead and start. I'll keep this over here. So, uh, I can remind myself what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> and let's just go now. Okay, so remember, here's our Salsa J, uh, our, our Salsa J control bar. And then up on the file menu up here, you have features you need within Salsa J. You could, and a lot of them are, are down in this little yellow panel. But let's just, uh, we'll go here to open, open an image. And remember, you have to open these images from Salsa J. Can't open, can't open an image uh, from, uh, can't open an image from Preview or other other graphics. Okay, so uh, let's, let's see. Uh, we're going down. It's in the desktop. It's called OCA. OCA Workshop. There it is. And uh, let's just, we'll just open up M51 for now. Okay. So again, you click on it. You can either double click on it and it'll open, or you can hit open down here. And remember, it says .fts. That's the, that's the kind of file format. Again, that's the, one, that's the file format, the standard in astronomy. It's professional. Okay. So we got through the first item. That wasn't too hard. Then the second is want to zoom and kind of see what an image is. So, well, here's our, here's our image, and um, let's zoom on it. And the way you zoom on it, see up here in the upper left our, on our control bar is a little magnifying glass. Click the magnifying glass, and you can just start to zoom, okay? And actually, it's zooming out of, out of shape there. So I'll come on back, and let's just, might as well just get this guy up here. I'll bring up here's the galaxy. There's there's M51, the main galaxy. And let's let's just keep zooming again, one more time. Got to move it back. Get back here, you little guy. Hey, wait and say that's not a galaxy. That's a bunch of little square things. Your students would justifiably say. Okay, and bring it back. Bring it. There we go. There we go. Let's do it one more. Crank it up a notch. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so. What in heck is going on here? Um, okay, so each of these little square things is called a pixel, and uh, there's you see some are bright. That gives the, that gives our our allows our perception to distinguish parts of, the, of this galaxy, and some are darker. And notice in in the upper left in this bar in this yellow bar up here. When I go, you saw this, when I go to the image, the white things have a high number, 4,700. Dark things have a much lower number, 9,900. Okay, so that's very important. Bright things have a high number, okay? And, that's, and then low things. And each pixel has that one number. If you stay in that pixel, the value doesn't change. The X and the Y, okay, here, X and Y are the, are the distances in the XY graph. Actually, our kids learn X and Y coordinate systems very well with our stuff because they have to use them and it's fun. Okay, so uh, that's that's the second one. Uh, we did zoom. Now let's do contrast. 
let me let me zoom out on a Macintosh. I think on a on a PC you right click to zoom out after you hit the arrow. Click that arrow, and the Mac you do Option. Okay, so there there's there's our galaxy. Let's let's keep zooming a little more. Zoom out a little more. There we go. Okay, so here's the Mama Galaxy and here's the Satellite Galaxy. So let's let's play with the contrast. Set contrast. You go up to this little thing up here in the upper left. That's the con that's the contrast window. Double click on that, and after you click on the image, then you click on the contrast image. You can you can start to. I think I must have zoomed there again. Oops, sorry guys. There, oops. Okay, there we go. And let me. I just I can hit the uh, arrow key there to crank it up a bit. Let me let me let's let me zoom back. There we go. Okay, so now we got both galaxies in the image. Sorry for futzing. Okay, so um, let's see if I can. There we go. Get the whole thing in there mostly. Okay, now now I'm gonna use contrast. Again, now what contrast means, see the little upper little here. You can set the minimum. That's that's see that going back. That means any pixel brighter than that number, uh like two thousand, any pixel brighter than two thousand will be black. So you notice all these pixels here, they have values fifty, hundred. But then their values in here of 2,000, 7,000, 8,000, that's, those are the bright pixels. Okay, and these are, and everything else becomes black. So, but that, that's, and then uh, what else you can do, you can make everything, the maximum, see that line, anything bright, any pixel brighter than that becomes white. So you can crank that down. Uh, so you make almost every pixel white that way. So that's, that's this is a very, very fun feature. It's also very useful scientifically because we can start to see features, you know, that we couldn't see before. So uh, keep cranking, cranking, keep cranking, cranking, cranking. I think you can see the bridge between those galaxies uh, coming out a little bit. As you might see the bridge right there. Look at look at the uh, features we're pulling out of this galaxy now. So the contrast is a very very important uh, effect. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the recording for a second. Uh,